Hi, this is Meredith Mustard, um, talking to you from Two Imagine Studios in Farmington, Maine. And this is another sort of off the cuff video. Um, this is just something I discovered and I just found it to be really fun. And what it is, is, um, you know, I've talked a lot about transferring images and how do we transfer our own images? So I just by chance had written out uh, a piece that was a part of a commission in um, ink that uh, was made out of acrylic paint. And I found that the piece of calligraphy that I'd written could be transferred into my artwork. And this is kind of what, what this is where I discovered it. This is what showed up. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. And here's what we, what I started with. So I needed a dip pen because I need to dip into the ink to write. And a fountain pen wouldn't work because acrylic paint would, you know, if it dried in that fountain pen, that would be the end of the fountain pen. And what I found, I am a calligrapher and so I really love nibs and dip pens. I found this calligraphy uh, nib made by Browsa. And you can see it here. It's called Steno NR361. <clears throat> and it is flexible. So it makes sort of a thin and thin and thick when you write, but you can just write handwriting with it. The ink that I discovered, and this was thanks to Henrik Drescher, um, he suggested it as a, a really lovely uh, material to work with. It's FW Daler Rowney. Uh, inks that come in a lot of different colors. This one is marine blue, uh, which is a pretty flexible color. So here's here's what I do. Let's take a piece of paper. Um, let me make sure this ink, you wanna make sure it's well shaken and sometimes um, it settles in the bottom. So make sure you don't have a, uh, a bit of it on the bottom that would keep the, the ink, the paint and the ink from being thick enough. And then just write something out. And you can see how this goes thick and thin, depending on how much pressure you put on. Um, now the real thin lines aren't gonna show up, so what I'll do sometimes is go back and thicken them up a little bit. And then write something. Um, and, you know, of course, it's also possible to draw with this and then uh, transfer the drawing. I think the writing is fabulous, though, because, you know, I want to have writing in a lot of my pieces, and I don't want it to be type, and I don't want it to be added afterwards. So, um, let's see, let's just put a little... Something like that. <clears throat> now I've already uh, written some out so that they can dry and because the the paint would have to be completely dry before you transfer it or it would just smush. So I have several things that I did before. Um, this piece of writing I did before it is perfectly dry now. It's a quote I really like. And it got a little smudge too, so it's gonna be some smudge in it. Yeah, it will fit on there. So the next thing I do is uh, I use, which I usually use, golden fluid acrylic paint. So I'll put some on the plate. And when I transfer with a paper like this, this, this paper is a little bit um, absorbent. It's, um, Stonehenge printmaking paper, which I use for a lot of my collage work. So I use just a little bit more paint than I usually use when I'm doing a transfer, like from an image from a book. So there's that. And I'm going to take this piece of writing, flip it over. Put it on here and then press it and it can take some pressure. 
what will happen is that acrylic paint of the writing will resist picking up the paint onto the paper. So there you have, there's the writing. And I have also a bunch of sheets of paper that already have paint on them. I have a layer of paint and I do that. If you've seen any of my other videos, I do that often. I have a stack of them. Oh, I don't have my baron here, so I'm just gonna press this with my hands. And there it is. Um, so once again, it's experimentation. Um, try doing it with different colors of paint um, because the consistency of the different colors is a little bit different. So some will transfer probably better than others. And um, good luck with it. It's a fun. It's a fun deal. And this is Meredith Mustard again from Two Imagine Studios in Farmington, Maine. Uh, you can find us on Instagram at Two Imagine Studios and also on Facebook. See you around.